Hello everyone, welcome back to this new episode of Hacking Born to Roots Awesome CTF Challenge. We've been able to compromise the administration back office. We've gained a shell and today it's all about getting root. Let's get started. I'm going to put all the episodes in the description box. When we get root, make sure to check them out to learn more details about how we've got here. But essentially, we uploaded a malicious extension and used the console that comes with the web shell to gain an initial foothold. So we are running as www-data. Do we have anything under the home directory? Yes, we have Tim. What do we have under Tim? Nothing. Can we create like um, SSH folder under Tim? Nope, permission denied because it's owned by root and we can't change it. All right, what are the different running processes? We have MySQL, it's running as user MySQL, so I'm not sure if this is the right way to go to root, but maybe we can find something stored in a database. We have syslog, um, we have cron. I wonder if we have anything for that WW data user, nothing. No cron jobs defined for that user. What about SUID bit scripts? We have a lot of permission denied errors, so we're going to redirect the errors to dev null. And we get what we have here. Pseudo, su, yeah, the usual stuff. Nothing really interesting here. Do we have sudo? Yeah, it's, it's prompting us with a password which we don't have for this user. Uh, but since this is not an interactive shell, obviously we can't input our shell. I'm going to see if I need a reverse shell to upgrade this to an interactive shell, but basically this is enough for me until now. So what else can we do here? So we've looked at cron jobs, uh, SUID bits. Uh, what is the version of that kernel? 3.16. It's a Debian 8. I guess it's vulnerable to a public exploit already but I'm not very fan of this route. I like to exploit configurations and vulnerabilities inside the machine rather than the kernel or the version that is vulnerable. And because this box has been published in 2019, I suspect that, yeah, with time, potential issues will arise that would facilitate the root portion because an exploit would be published, but we don't want that. And that's certainly not the intention of the author, I guess. So we are WW data. What can we do? Um, do we have anything under temp directory? Nothing really interesting. What about var temp? Nope. What do we have under var WW HTML? Oops. LS. HT access doesn't have any content. The Joomla directory, but nothing else. Nothing interesting here. What is the content of? etc cron tab nothing out of the ordinary can we find like files for the user tim if there is a script that's running periodically we can potentially abuse that oh we have something let's use dash ls here so we have a file share python script under opt scripts that is readable by everyone and also executable by everyone let's see its content so it's using Paramico, a SSH client library for Python. And basically it's trying to connect to localhost with this password and this username and this port, which is SSH. Oh, cool. So basically trying to connect in this line with that username and password to the host name localhost on port 22, which is nothing but SSH. So this gives us the password of Tim, I guess. So let's SSH into that. SSH Tim, CTF18, rootme.org. Yes. And let's use that password, lol's lol. Enter, and we're in. Perfect. We are Tim indeed. And do we have anything under Tim? No. Does Tim has anything in cron? Dash L. Nope. We have a permission denied. It's a weird error here. All right, uh, what can we run as sudo with this user? sudo-l, 
Paste in our password, enter. Oh, we can do pretty much anything with sudo. And particularly, we can do sudo su to become root. Hit enter, and indeed we are root. Do we have any flag here? Yes, we do. Woot woot, if you're reading this text, then congratulations. Yeah, we've gained root access using just misconfigurations on the box, which is my favorite way of compromising servers. I hope you learned something new in this series. If you did, then give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow hackers, and don't forget to subscribe and hit the ring bell to watch me hack other upcoming challenges. As always, stay curious, keep learning, and go find some bugs.